We're back in the, the roaring 20s. So this time around, why can't we just roar about the truth? It's 2020. Instead of it being a hindsight thing, let it be a, hi, let me tell you about me. This isn't clickbait. I'm 40. Happy New Year. After recovering from being really sick and then getting Donovan back into the swing of school and also starting him in a smaller class for the one-on-one -on -one time. Um, everything was just kind of a lot and then I kind of didn't want to do anything. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything but the things I had to do. Don't make resolutions, really. Um, I've never really made, like even in the past when I've kind of made a resolution, it was never something I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stick to him, do it tomorrow. And it was just like, a, yeah, I should lose weight next year. That kind of thing. <laughs> So, um, last summer I started losing weight and I've lost only 20, I say only, only 20 pounds just because I do want to lose a little bit more. But in the meantime, I'm happy with how I'm looking when I don't look like this. <laughs> so this year is going to be about self-care. It's going to be like chunks of time where I'm going to look my best not my best necessarily, maybe my best, maybe really good. And then there's gonna be chunks of time where I'm, leave me alone, I'm just, I'm tired, go away. So I am feeling all right, I'm tired. My stomach bothers me sometimes when I'm like getting into PMS mode and I think I'm starting to because I'm feeling nauseous. I just get a lot of IBS symptoms before my period why this is getting a little crazy right now too. I'm gonna stand up. You'll see, you're gonna see. This, height of fashion. Yo, what's up? Don't I look good? And it's like, yo, what's wrong? You don't like the way I look? You don't like it? It's more for me than anyone else. I'm a married woman. I'm not trying to get anybody's attention, but you feel good when you look good sometimes, so I'm going to start by uh, taking a shower. You can't always take a shower before you drop your kid off. Sometimes you got to rush. It's about them, not you. Now that it's about me again because he's at school, shower time. I got my shower ready. A good shower. Now, a certain hairdresser reacts would say, don't wrap your hair up in a towel like this. It's the tension, but my hair's not really twisted in there. It's just sitting on my head. This is just sitting on top of it. You know who you are. You know what? That's something that I'm going to stop doing in 2020. If I want to say a YouTuber's name, I'm going to say it. I'm not looking for clout. I'm not looking for views. But Brad Mondo, I'm, I'm not damaging my hair, I promise. Look, <laughs> not twisted. Okay, bye. I know it's black, and I've got pants under my skirt because it is cold outside, so I am layered. Um, this is a dress. <laughs> so I'm wearing a sweater, a dress, so a sweater dress, and dress pants. I've got sweater dress pants. Now I gotta put makeup. I'm just gonna let my hair do whatever it wants right now because I'm gonna wear a hat. It's gonna mess it up later anyway. So we can... Something that I'd like to do in 2020 that I wasn't doing last year, I was avoiding a lot of YouTubers' names. If perchance some YouTuber was to come across this or the algorithm was to pick up a name, I don't want to just get clout or views because I said, Graveyard Girl. By the way, I love her. There's a lot of YouTubers I like. I do watch Brad Mondo, I said earlier. I, um, there's a ton that I used to be subscribed to and the only reason I'm no longer subscribed to some of them is just because their content um, changed and, you know, more power to them. I have nothing against that. Just not content that I specifically am that interested, so I unsubscribe. Um, I still try to support people that I like. I still go to their, view, their videos that I do like. I give them likes when I can. But, like, for example... Um, Petty Page, who I know, there's, I have no problems with any of the, the recent controversies anyone's trying to come up with with her, 
I really like her. I feel like she's a very genuine person. She seems genuine to me. I don't know her, but you know. The only reason I unsubscribed to her recently is just because she's currently doing more reality show stuff. I don't watch reality TV, so I used to be subscribed to PewDiePie. The only reason I'm not currently is, again, the content that he puts out I'm not always that interested in. Um, and I think he's taking a break right now anyway. I haven't been subscribed for a while, though. It's nothing against the guy. I mean, he seems like a nice person, too. Obviously, a lot of these people that I will be mentioning, some of them do have controversies attached to their names, but... When you just hear sides of stories and you just hear things, like you, you see things, you see people's reactions, and then someone tries to make them a villain, you know, you... I don't know these people. I just know that I found them entertaining. I still find them entertaining. Some of them may be problematic now. Some of them may not be problematic now. I'm not going into that because that is... I don't know anything about that beyond what everybody else sees. So why would I talk about that? Um, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Cinnamon Toast Ken, I'm still subscribed to you. Um, I wish you pl would play the older games, but I understand if they're not doing very well and that's just not how you want to do it. I just got to jump on Twitch more. Uh, Gabby Hanna. I know I did a video about her a while back, just kind of trying to not plead really, but just to try to relate something. Um, and then I saw the views were starting to, to climb and I realized they were probably not climbing always for the best reasons because I had said nothing hateful or anything. So I'm assuming those dislikes were people who didn't agree with me. They disliked. That's fine. Um, I'm expecting that. I, I have a thick skin. I used to animate, I used to animate, animate. I used to make flash. On new grounds it wasn't the best flash in the world trust me even when you make something that people really like the general public likes there's gonna be some really hateful comments some of them are constructive and helpful and some of them are just this sucks <laughs> and a lot of times it was from people who didn't make content like on new grounds so they would just say you suck and you should never make anything again and then you'd look for their page and be like what are their standards? They haven't made any, like, why, why are they attacking me? And it's because people can just be mean on the internet. So people are learning that now. It's something I learned in the early 2000s. Actually before that, but I mean, like people literally going to your thing that you made and telling you that you suck. Um, that was around before YouTube. Self-care doesn't have to be makeup if you don't want to put makeup. Self-care can just mean brushing your hair sometimes. Another thing that I wanted to say was, you know, we're back in the, the roaring 20s. So this time around, why can't we just roar about the truth? It's 2020. Instead of it being a hindsight thing, let it be a, hi, let me tell you about me. This isn't clickbait. I'm 40. I have a son. I have a husband. My son is three years old. He's on the spectrum. He is mildly autistic and very intelligent. Uh, he is starting to talk, so he is not nonverbal, but it is very delayed, as you can hear. Like I said, he's three. He's not communicating with us the way you'd expect another three-year-old to do. I've lived in New York, Long Island, my whole life. Uh, just moved around towns and things like that. But um, I'm the youngest of four children. My parents were married the whole time. Um, I have one brother and two sisters. I grew up as an Arab American, but by the time I was born, they were speaking less Arabic to the children and more English. So I don't really have as much of an Arabic vocabulary as I'd like. I kind of know more Spanish than I know Arabic from school. <laughs> so let's see who I'm subscribed to right now. Banana Peppers, which is Graveyard Girl's second channel. Bon Appetit, Brad Mondo. Um, Captain Preston, Cinnamon Toast Ken, Dustin Daly, Amelia Fart, First We Feast, Game Grump, Scarrett Watts, and it's sitting all, oh, that's not it, is it? Glam and Gore, Graveyard Girl, Have a Seat with Chris Hansen, because especially if you have a child, especially if you know a child, especially if you know anyone who you don't want to get taken advantage of online, just make your, just keep yourself educated. This is why you have to pay attention to what's going on sometimes.
my son doesn't watch regular YouTube unless I'm watching regular YouTube. My son watches YouTube Kids and I'm in the room. So this whole COPPA thing where people are worried about family friendly and all that stuff too, by the way, great, fabulous, but pay attention to what your kids are watching and doing. Just pay attention. Just look, just glance. You know it's boring, you gotta do stuff and you're just like, oh, my kid is just watching the same thing over and over. Great, then you can step away for a second. But if your kid starts clicking on something else, watch, pay attention. It's not that hard. It saves you the trouble of worrying about somebody else's regulations. Anyway, sorry, I just get a little annoyed when people are like, oh, it's the mommies. And it's not all the mommies. Some mommies actually pay attention to what their kids are doing as much as they can. Anyway, Jeffree Star, Jenna and Julian. Well, just Jenna, Julian, that's the podcast stuff. Jenna Marbles, Jordan Shrinks. I just discovered you. Oh, it was, you know what? It may have been two years for all I remember because when you have a baby, your time just like is like, wait, it was five years ago? Jordan Shrinks, you're awesome. You look amazing. When I saw your little recap video, I want to say it was last year, when I saw your recap video for the new year and I saw the clips of you before you had lost all that weight and it was your face and it was just so weird because I'd never seen like I didn't see that first I saw you after having lost the weight so it's like oh my god like I was so proud of you I started crying because that's just what I do <laughs> I don't know you you don't know me but I cried for you congratulations you look amazing I aspire. You and I weigh the same amount, too. We don't look the same at all. It's just what happens. I'm 5'9", and I weigh about 165 pounds-ish. And I know you're kind of ish there, too. I'm just genetics. Just different. Also, I'm 40. <laughs> you're not half my age, but you're not that far off. <laughs> um, Julian Salamita, Crinks TV. Please support anyone you know who's having a hard time with their channel strictly because suspected they claim the algorithm doesn't pick up things like that uh it's pretty obvious when you do have people on your timeline or, or uh, if you do have people in your subscriptions who are lgbtq and you have people who aren't lgbtq and you start noticing that the people who are lgbtq when they say heaven forbid the word gay in their title and suddenly they get demonetized even though if you watch the video sometimes it's like this is like the other video they had. Why did this one get demonetized? Support some channels. Crinks TV, Minx and Chrism. You guys are awesome. I'm sorry I don't watch all of your videos. I really try, but you know, can't really put that stuff on in front of my son. But I try watch them, watching them at night. I'm trying to support you um, because I want to support people. <laughs> Made you look amazing. Um, Molly Burke, also amazing. They're, they're, all these people are amazing. Um, Morgan Adams, Ninja Sex Party, that is uh, Danny Sex Band, Bang's uh, band with Brian Wecht. Um, if you don't know, look into them, see what happens. Uh, Nima Tang, I always thought it was Naima. Like when I looked at it, I was like, oh, is that Naima? And then she, I heard her say her own name. Somebody said, they said Nima. And I was like, sorry. Philip DeFranco. I have a Throat Punch t-shirt and I think, Throat Punch University t-shirt, and I think I tried tweeting it to him while we were like, look, but I wonder how many of those he gets a day. Play It Forward is a friend of mine. Um, Ready to Glare, Ryland Adams, Sophia Nygaard, Shane, Simply Neological, Sorted Food, Super Mega, Tales of Alethrion, The Grumps, Tristan Peretti's, by the way, where you been, Tristan? Um, I think he went back to school. So it was really cool seeing your videos. I hope you do come back to YouTube. Um, I hope you at least update Twitter because, you know, you seem like a really cool guy too and it would be nice to see that you're doing okay. That's it. I don't want to stalk you, I promise. <laughs> and Tyler Williams. Um, and I know uh, that Tyler and Sophia got married recently. Congratulations to you guys too. And, um... Oh, PewDiePie and Marcia, obviously, like, congratulations to you, and I'm sorry for what happened to you, and anyone who is saying, oh, good, you got robbed, what's wrong with you? Like, I don't, I don't care how much money you think he has, that's a violation. 
Why would why would you be happy about that? Even if you think he is a racist person, he doesn't seem like a jerk, just maybe a racist person. I don't think he is, but you never know. It's okay that he gets robbed. There's tons of people that I unsubscribe to that are not on this list. And there's a chunk of them that are unsubscribed because it was problematic behavior. I'm not gonna say any names. Because I wanted to put makeup on, but now I'm looking at myself and I kind of feel like I'm all right like this. I'm sure somebody's watching like, no, you're not, please put something on. Whatever, you don't have to look at my face. I could put this on if I want. I don't want to do it. Uh, if I'm going to put anything on, it would probably be Rebel Rose because it's just an easy color to deal with. <laughs> and that's it. You're like, that was self-care. I took a shower. I put something on that wasn't just a hoodie. <laughs> and I got makeup on. This is self-care right now. I wanna be cheesy about it. Maybe I should do the Mad M thing and be like, oh my God, this year for 2020. 2020 vision for the future. You know, some, some thing like that. <sighs> I might, I might still do that, but um, I think I look okay, that's why I keep looking down. Otherwise, I'm done. It's just this year I want to be as honest as I have been. I don't want to censor YouTubers that I want to talk about, but I'm not talking about drama. A lot of these YouTubers, it's not that they're not being honest. It's that they're performing. <laughs> they see this as a performance. It's a performance of their real life, but it's not really because they're just like this is this is how I talk normally. I'll talk to people like this. This is what I this is what I do. But sometimes you put the camera on and instead of doing this, you're like, "Hi. Well, here's the thing. The other day I went to the store. Isn't that weird? Like people don't really talk like that necessarily. I mean, eh, sometimes when you have the energy, but to be on all the time is not something that everybody does or wants to do. I don't know what this is. But, um, I'm not on all the time. And when I am on, it's pretty obvious. And it's, uh, a lot of times lately, it is accompanied by, um, a fake ponytail. And I call myself Mad M. I actually bought a new wig recently that is only like 20 bucks. But it's a black root teal wave blob. It looks a little triangular, so I'm not a fan of that, but I like how it looks on me. And, um, if only my hair wasn't so this, um, I would bleach and dye it, but I'm not going to do that because I, I just want it to be healthy and I want this to just grow at this point. I'm not trying to dye anything. So in the meantime, I have that wig and... I think that the next time I do a video, if I do a video where I'm wearing that wig, I'm either going to be me and just act silly, or I'm going to do like a Mad M situation. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, welcome to 2020. I should stop. I should style my hair like a flapper or something. I could. Technically, I could. I have the bangs. The way my hair is done like this, if I do it on this side too, I can kind of make it look like a flapper. But I'm not. These are not those 20s. Um, that's it. I don't have any resolutions. This is not like a welcome to the new year. Really, it's more just a regular hi. I'm just telling you more about me and I'm telling you about who I like. And for anyone who is watching this that maybe I don't actually know you in real life. Maybe I, maybe you're actually a subscriber. Hi. I am. Um, I hope you enjoy my content. That's it. I want to say hi to you. I don't want to neglect you. I don't want to act like you don't exist. I don't want to act like everyone who watches this is someone I know, even though that might be the case. Um, if you're someone I've never met before and you're watching this, it's that's amazing. I thank you. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't mind getting more. Why would I mind? At this point, it's like, it, it would be nice to have people who 
hear everything I'm saying and are like, yeah, me too, because that doesn't happen to me in my real life. So it's more like, oh, you watch a lot of YouTube. Well, you're kind of weird. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so it would be nice. And um, that's the end of my video. So I'm just going to say bye now. I never know how to say bye properly. I usually just cut right to the, the exit card because when I say, uh, I hope life gives you what you need, Sometimes, even though I really wish it, because I'm repeating it, it starts sounding like an outro. I hope life gives you what you need. So like, I hope life gives you what you need, but I might not say the same thing every time coming in. I might not say the same thing every time coming out, but it will have the title and end cards that I made because it just makes my brain feel better to have them. <laughs> have a great day. I ended last year with a song. I thought I'd start this year with a song. Out on the hills, the lonely goat, hey, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, I'm just kidding. Bye. <laughs>